So, uh, so tell us how you became a Bergman fangirl. How did this love for Bergman start, or where, how? Um, I mean, I think I just, uh, you know, I saw, I saw um, probably some of his movies in college. I went to film school. I've been obsessed with movies um, pretty much since I was a kid. And uh, growing up, I was always making my own movies and. I knew I wanted to go to film school, and so I, I went to New York University for film school. And, uh, you know, one of those classes is like film, you know, theory and critiquing movies, which is what I loved. And I saw some Bergman films in school, and um, and they, oh, I don't know, I think it, that they just, they, I, I think I always had a kind of um, assumption that it wasn't, that I wasn't, there wasn't an in for me there. Um, but I, every movie I saw of his, I was always like, I don't, it always just stuck with me. Um, I think just the visuals and then also, you know, the subject matter, but there's a, I don't know, there's just a really kind of um, underlying kind of, I can feel like there's just a feeling to that, to his movies. And then I think when I really became a super, super fan was after I saw Scenes from a Marriage, which was a little bit later for me when I saw that. And I, cause I, it was so different than a lot of the other movies I had seen. Um, and it was so focused on performance and um, acting. And um, I just, I couldn't get over the fact that it was so compelling to watch two people just have a conversation in uh, one room uh, for so long um, because it seems so simple, but it's really the hardest thing to do is to make a conversation interesting on camera. It's otherwise it's a play, you know, it's meant to be a play. And um, I just was very, very taken by how compelling, it, how compelling that was. And I think then, yeah, and it was so different. And then I think after that, I had seen Fanny and Alexander for the first time, which was obviously so different than that one. And then I don't know, it, and that also like blew my mind in a totally different way. It was a, it you know, it reminded me almost of like a Barry Lyndon, or like there was just something so decadent about um, about it, and kind of um, I don't know, just funny and and creepy and scary. It had everything in one movie for me. Um, so I watch that every year. I love that movie, but um, I think it was a slow progression of things. That uh, you've called Fun in Alexander your comfort movie. How is that a comfort <laughs> movie? I don't know. Maybe because I grew up like Catholic, um, so like Christmas is and seeing. I don't know. It's just, I, I think it's just um, because I don't understand Swedish, but I. It's like there's something to the sound of the that movie that's comforting. Like I always like put it on in the background, to like when I'm doing stuff, because it's like, um, it just it's like a soothing tableau. I don't know, and I think it's like candy to look at for some reason. Whenever I'm like, it's just I could watch it without the sound off. I could watch. I could just listen to the sound. Um, it's also creepy, you know, scary and 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 weird. Um, but those things are comforting to me sometimes. I think.